Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a flip music envelope for our junk journals. But first, let's have a shout out to Sherry, Diana, Joanne, Colleen, Sabin, Dee, Linda, and Robin. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a music page out of my music book that I purchased at the Vintage Bookstore, used bookstore. It is approximately 15 inches open by 10 and a half inches open. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab my glue stick and I am going to glue this shut like this. So I'm just going to apply glue to one side of my page. Hang on to this paper, Kathy, or it will go flying. And I'm going to try to get my glue on the edge the best I can. So there we go. Alrighty, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to fold this and I'm just going to push it down. So now we have one page, two pages so uh, glued together. We have one page. So this is approximately seven and a half by ten and a half approximately. And what I want to do here is now I want to take it this way, lay it down the long way, and I'm going to fold <coughs> this up, this end to this end. So let's just give it a crease, just like that. Alrighty, so now we look like this. Now this is where you want to decide, do you want this to be the front where the flap is, or do you like it better this way with the flap? I kind of, I don't know which way I like it better. That's interesting. Now, I think I'm going to choose this way. Well, we could actually look at it the other way. Nope, it's going to be this way. So what I want to do is I want to fold whichever side you decide. I'm going to fold it down approximately two inches. And I can see that this isn't really together real well. You can see there's an extra piece. So, I'm going to fold it down just a little bit more so I can trim it off, okay? I want to be able to trim that just a bit to make it even. So, there we are. The more you fold down, the shorter your pocket's going to be. The less you fold down, the deeper your pocket's going to be. So now I'm just going to bring in my guillotine and I'm going to chop this off because like I said, it's not real even right now. And I'd like it to be even. It's not even even right here, but I think I can fix that by bringing in my scissors and just maybe fixing it this way if I can. There we go. That's a little better. All right, so the next thing I want to do, now my example I've sewn. This one I'm not going to sew. So you see this is the way it's going to be with my flap. So when you open it up, because we haven't glued it down yet, I'm going to take this rectangle right here, where the fold is and where this fold is, I'm going to cut that out. All right, so I'm going to open it up and I'm cutting out, let's just, let's just highlight it so we can see a little better. So right here, whoa, I put a little bit of water on it like y'all su suggested and whoa, it did wake it up, didn't it? I just did it right before I did my started my video and it's really woken it up. Okay, let's go ahead and just kind of highlight it here. All right, there we go. I think that helped. So right here where I highlighted here and here, we're gonna cut this part out. Okay, we're leaving this part right here. And it's the way we fold it down this way. So if you fold it down this way, you open it back up and it's this part right here when you open it back up that you're gonna cut out. So let's do that. Of course, the pages are supposed to be glued together. And look, I'm rotten at the glue stick, so mine are not glued together. Why are not mine glued together? I don't know. Y'all saw me glue it. I'm just rotten at glue sticks. Glue sticks and I do not get along. That's why it's good for me to sew it after I glue stick it, because I am rotten at glue sticky. Look, it's still not shown down. It's still not. All the way. So, Okay guys, just cut it out. We're just going to cut it out. I might have to sew it guys just because I'm rotten with glue sticks. So let's cut this out. I don't want my envelope to come undone. 
I don't want that to happen. So now we look like this, right? Because we cut this out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to round my corners of my flap. I'm not particularly thinking I'm going to round the corners on the bottom. I don't think so. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to ink it up. You guys, the tip about the water obviously helped a lot. <laughs> a whole lot because it is really a lot darker than it was. I appreciate all you guys helping me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just ink this very quickly. And not take it won't take too long. Almost done. Now I gotta look at it well to see what I need to do about gluing this together because it's got to be together, guys. So how's my flap doing? Not very well. Oh, it look at that! It's just not even well at all. So I'm going to have to sew it, guys, because otherwise my um, my envelope's not going to do well. So I hope you use a uh, glue stick better than I do, because I am rotten at it. All right, so I have sewn around. Now I even sewed around this part right here. So now it's absolutely gorgeous inside and outside. So let's go ahead and let's do a little bit of decorating. What I have here, I have some adorable ATC size postcards, and these are from Studio Southern Valley. Aren't they pretty? I think they're very pretty. They all have different types of birds on there. I also have just a little bit of script. It came in a pad that my daughter gave me, I think it was at Christmas, and I don't know where she got it, but it has different types of script on it. I really like it a lot. And that's where this came from. So what I want to do is I want to lay this on here. I want to decide which one of these do I like the best on this paper here. So let's see here. I have this one and then there's this one. It's really pretty. The contrast is really pretty. Well, that one's pretty on there. Okay, because I'm going to use two. I'm going to use one on the front, and I'm going to use one on the back. I like that one on there, too. I think I like that one. I think these two go well together. All right, so let's put this one on the what I'm calling the front. And what I want to do is I just want to, I'm going to have to trim this off a little bit. So let me kind of judge here and get my pencil. And I think I want to cut it about right here. Let's cut it right below that darker line. Get my little guillotine here. And I'm just going to trim it just like that. Save that little piece. And I'm going to ink this up quickly. Just on the edges, just a little bit, just to give it a little flavor. And just a little bit on this these are so cute, this ATC size postcard. I'm sure that's in French. I don't know French, but I'm pretty sure that's French. And I'm going to maybe place it like this because I really like this music on here and I love music paper with using bird images. I think that's really, really cute. So what I want to do is I'm just taking my Tombow glue. You can use absolutely any glue that you like. If you're good with that glue stick, you just go ahead and use your glue stick. This is why there's so many different kinds of glue is because we all, you know, have, we do different things. We like different things. So there we are. Let's get that on there just like that. And then I would like to place this on here. And let's see, how do I want that? want it maybe just barely maybe just something like that so I'm going to glue my little ATC card on here as well and just get that on there maybe something like that all right now I have some different types of trim I've got this really pretty lace right here this white lace. I thought that would be really sweet on here. Um, I think it's a little big though, so I think I'd like to trim it. So I'm just going to cut some of this off. 
I'm just chopping on it here just to get it to be the size that will work for this project. Yeah, that's really pretty on there. I'm going to just add a little bit of my hot glue on here because it's quick, it's easy, and I need my spoon. And I don't know where my spoon is, so I'm going to turn it over. Where is my spoon? It's probably in my pile somewhere here. I don't know what I've done with my spoon, guys. Okay, spoon is lost. Oh, no. Let's go ahead. We'll continue without the spoon. We can do it. I've got a little bit of heavier lace. I love this color on here. And I think maybe about right here on there. So let's go ahead and let's put a little bit more glue on here. And let's lay our lace right on top. Now you can use fabric tack. I use hot glue in my videos because quick, it's easy, it's permanent, and I can keep going and things don't move on me as I'm as I'm decorating. Now I have this little trim here. I think these are so sweet, these little flowers. And I think I would like to place some right here on the edge. So I'm going to trim a few off. How many are here? One, two, three, four. There's four of them. I think that looks great. So there is a right and a wrong way on this. This is the wrong way. So let's add our glue right on here. And let's get these down just like that. Oh my goodness, that's looking fantastic. And then it comes closed like that. So let's go ahead and decorate our top. Now I had that extra piece right here, the other side of where I cut that. I think I'd like to lay that right on the top, right here. And I'm going to put it right there. And since I don't know where my spoon is, I've got two of them. One was gifted to me, and the other one I bought. And I don't even know where either one of them is. <laughs> oh, it's time to clean my craft room. And I start losing things like that. And I'm going to go ahead and add this one on the top as well, since I did that. At the bottom, we'll continue and do this on the top. So just like that. It's very, very pretty. And let's look and see what that looks like. Oh my goodness, isn't that looking gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Now I have some little pearls and I have some numbers. These I believe are shabby dabby doo numbers. And I think I want to put it right up there, but I'm thinking it needs a little bit of something underneath it, so maybe a little bit of this right there. Yep, that's what did it. That's all it needed was a little bit of lace on top, or underneath, I'm sorry. So let's lay this down just like that, and I'm going to turn it over to my glass mat to help me. And then I'm going to add my number, and maybe about right there. Okay, and then right here on the centers of my flowers, let's see, what color do I want? This blue, that blue is going to look beautiful. And I kind of hesitate using my hot glue with these, but I'm going to try it just because we're going to decorate the other side as well. And we're going to put a flip on this. So you can add it to your journaling page as a flip. So it would be a flip. One side would be a pocket, and the other side, oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that looking beautiful? I'm almost thinking it needs a little bit of blue up here somewhere. Maybe on this side. I do think it needs a little something. Um, maybe just two. Two will be just fine, so let's try that. Let's put that right there. And let's do this one. Okay, yeah, I like that blue over there as well. To keep it shut, we can use a little um, paper clip. So I do have some blue ones here. That's pretty. I have some blue, sorry, silk. I uh, don't think that's going to work. But I do have this one right here and 
let's go ahead and trim this and rip it. You know, you can rip your sorry silk to, so it will be whatever size that you want. Now, all of these um, items that I'm using, like the postcard and the um, sorry silk, and uh, will be linked below. And my sorry silk is from my friend over at Crimson Heart Studios. So it will not linked below. I shouldn't say linked. It will be listed below. That's the word. I don't know how to link things yet, guys. <laughs> so my daughter hasn't taught me that yet. I have come a long way, you guys. But anyway, I don't know how to link things. So if you ask me for a link, you'll just get the name because I don't know how to link yet. I'll learn that eventually. <laughs> eventually it will come. So I'm just going to put two of them on here like this. And we'll look at it and see what that looks like. And then I might have to bring in, yeah, see how it's kind of sprawled out, really wild and crazy like that? I have some thread right here. And what I want to do is I cut a piece of thread and I'm going to just wrap this thread around right where it, right above the knots that I made to tie it onto my paper clip. And I've just wrapped it around a couple of times. I'm trying to pull this through. Come on now. Make a knot. And then make a knot. Okay, so I've got it knotted. So see, now it's more together. And this color, this blue thread, really even helps go with everything. And I think I'm just going to trim it off. And then right there, you could have it as your closure. Isn't that cute? Now, to make it the flip, all you have to do is you could use a piece of material, you could use a piece of washi, you could use um, a piece of paper like I'm going to do. And what I did was I took my paper, and this is not quite three inches. I folded it in half, and then I folded it in half again like this. Okay. So what I want to do is I actually, and I did that just to make it a little sturdier, I'm going to glue, see how I, this is the, my half fold right there. I'm going to glue this to this, so I'm just going to add, I need to grab another one of my uh, Tumbo glues. This one's running out. I'm just going to glue these together just to make it a little sturdier. That's all I'm doing. If you don't, you know, need it to be sturdy, but this is a pretty nice sturdy pocket. It's not flimsy, so I thought it needed maybe a little more stability. You could have it flip this way. You could have it flip this way. It just depends on how you want it. Now, I kind of find that if this is your, um, what do I want to say, where you, you've sewed in your signature and your book opens this way, sometimes folding it out this way is a little easier than folding it in to the book this way, especially if you put this pocket towards the end and you're you're already getting a you know a wide mouth on your book, it might be hard to flip it that way. So I find that it's usually easier to flip it out than to flip it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and run my ink on here just like that. And I'm going to glue this onto my pocket. So with all of that said, I'm going to put it on this side because I want it to flip out, okay? So all I'm doing <clears throat> is I'm just going to, and I'm going to do this so it's quick and easy and fast and all that good stuff. I'm just going to glue my fold, my flip, right onto the back side of my um, pocket so that you would be gluing this to your page in your signature and then it would flip out like this. So let's go ahead and let's decorate this side very quickly. So I've got another one of those pieces and I think we can do it right here and cover up our little hinge or maybe you've used washi and you don't want to cover it up because it's really cute. So you could do it either way but I'm going to cover mine up and I'm just going to chop off a little piece right there and I'm just going to glue this right on here. I don't want that on there right now because I don't want to accidentally glue that uh, 
thread onto there. And I think I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'll put it down this way, and then I'll put my little bird on the other direction. Now, you could also uh, put a pocket. And instead of, we'll do that, instead of, I'm looking to see if I've got some, I don't. So anyway, it's all good. I was looking to see if I have some more glue that's, that is handy that I could grab. But I'm putting this down in my lap, so it'll it'll stay right side up. I'm covering up my little hinge and then we can make this into a pocket if we want to. So to do that all you have to do is put your hand where you don't want to put the glue which is at the top of your little piece which is my postcard and I'm just going to put three corners of glue, three corners, three sides of glue. Now raise it up because I really like that number two and I'm just going to glue it down just like that. And we have those other postcards. We could actually use it for one of the little items that you might want to put into that pocket. I'm not sure what you might want to put in there, but that would work great. And we could just finish it off by using maybe a larger piece of that lace and not putting it cutting it in half and I'm running out of glue out of my glue stick. Add another one on here just like that. Just lay this over there like that and once again I'm going to look for that spoon. <laughs> it hasn't gone far guys. It's probably super handy, super close. I just don't see it. And then let's see here. Maybe I was thinking of maybe decorating our little piece that's going to be our pocket, or what's going in our pocket. That would be cute. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this heavier lace on top, or at the end I should say, of this little card that's going to go in our pocket. Just like that. So there we are. Yeah, that's cute. I like that a lot. And let's see, let's use a little bit more of our flower trim. And let's see, how many do we need? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four would be just fine. I'm going to trim this off just like that. And I'm going to look to see which way is the right way. This is the wrong side, so let's put our glue right on here. And pop it right on there, just like that. Oh my goodness, you guys, so see, there's our flip. Isn't that cute? So let's put a few of our little beads on here. And you know what, of course, I have used up all the blue that I have grabbed. So let's just grab a few more pieces, little flat back pearls. And I'm going to turn them over because that's the way I can pick them up. Otherwise, I argue with them. How about putting a little number on it? Maybe, uh, maybe right up there. And what did we do last time? We used a little piece of the lace. And let's just pop it right up there on top. I think that looks cute. Kind of finishes it off a little bit. Just like that. Oh yeah, that's coming together really nice. And I think this blue will look wonderful right here. Yeah, that's what I did want to do. Have it go upside down on me. But it all worked out. There we go. One more. Oh my goodness, you guys, isn't that cute? There's our little journaling card, because you want to ink it up a little bit. But it would go right on your page like this. Let's put our paper clip back on there. Go like this, we open it up, and there you are. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love these. Now, here's one that I've made. I just came up with this back part as I was kind of preparing for my video, and I didn't finish that one. But there's the one here versus this one. So this one's a little more vibrant. But this is beautiful, just just as beautiful. And the pocket on the flip side is really, really uh, cute. It would be adorable in a journal along with your extra little flip for interest. You guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.